minds. What is the goal of what you're trying to do? And don't confuse taking the high road with being weak and being passionless. It's quite the opposite. I've struggled with this myself. And I found it takes substantial strength and magnifies my passion. If anyone wants to argue my strength and my passion, bring it. Okay? I'm ready for you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I just want to have some questions for you about uh, the moon landing stuff. Um, I would be happy to do that, but right now we don't have time. There's only a couple more minutes in the break. So, um, you know what? Somewhere here is... I don't know who's organizing it. There's somebody who's organizing the media for interviews and stuff like that, and they have everything scheduled out. It's actually really, really. This won't, this won't take. This won't take long. I just have uh, just a few questions I'd like to ask you. Um, it, it's going to take longer than the break's going to be. I'm, I'm sure of it because we only have like two minutes left, and I'll be happy to talk to you. But what you should do is talk. I don't know where I don't see him. Um, Bart, I think Bart Farkas is the one who is organizing it, and he's actually scheduling everything for for interviews and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, it's gonna it's gonna wind up being running into breaks and things like that. And we're all running around a lot, so I'd suggest you talk to somebody in the JREF staff and find out where he is, and you can schedule something. Hello again. Yeah. Hi again. I was just wondering if you'd be interested to comment on Operation Dirty Trick. What is this? Operation Dirty Trick. Uh, it's the first that page there. It's a, proposed, it's a proposal by um, William H. Craig of the CIA to use John Glenn's possible death aboard his Mercury capsule to use as an excuse to invade Cuba. Do you have any comments along those lines? No, never heard of it. You haven't heard of it. I've sent you emails about it, you know, telling you about it, and you wouldn't comment on it. I tend not to comment on it because I get a lot of people sending me emails all the time uh -huh. and the uh, evidence that we went to the moon is overwhelming. Mm -hmm. The facts about the moon landings are overwhelming. And uh, the people who are claiming, such as yourself, the moon landings are fake, uh, seem to be impervious to the sort of logic that uh, fact-based science and reality would provide for them. Now, I will answer more questions, but as I have now told you, three times, in fact, you need to go talk to somebody who's at the administration of the JREP because we are scheduling interviews for things like okay. that. I will be happy to talk to you, but not right now. Do I, I have to, to go to lunch. Who do I speak to? Anyone somebody in the administration. Jeff or Jeff Wag, that would be good. Where is Jeff? I don't see him. But they are around. So you changed your mind about interviewing me because you believe that I'll take you out of context. Um, that's that's a, a minor fear, but honestly, I feel... Do you want me to talk into the pen? Would that help? I actually <laughs> feel that uh, uh, having seen your videos, having listened to you talk, no matter what I say, you're not going to hear my actual words. Well, I'm just asking I've you... I've seen you, you bring up points that are out of context. Uh, no, I don't bring up points that are out of context. In fact, I wanted to ask you to validate the context of one of your flames. You said that millions of I'm times... I'm not answering any of your questions. Well, it's just a simple right. question, mate. I don't trust you. It is that simple. Well, I don't trust I don't, you either. I can tell you that now. Know. And that's why I'm not going to do an interview with you, and, and we really are done. Uh-huh. Well, could I just ask you a simple question, mate? You said millions of times that Bill Casings denied the possibility of any space travel. I'm just asking, where did you claim that? You where did he claim that? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Are you Dave or Dave? Dave. Well, either one. Either one. I answered about. If anyone wants to argue my strength and my passion, bring it. Okay? I'm ready for you. And second, and not to put too fine a point on it, don't be a dick. Now, 